Alright, well, I certainly have not done one of these in quite some time. Again, a tutorial for the 3DS and DSi application for Teeth Computer. Uh, yeah, this um, my tutorials for this app are what got me most of the subscribers I have on YouTube. And it's, I've been backed up with a bunch of things, but I just got um, into this again. And, you know, I found out how to do some new stuff that uh, anyone who's been keeping up with my tutorials or... I don't know, maybe you'll see this new YouTube feed that the guy who was dead for two years started up again. Maybe you'll be interested again, too. That, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing something that you probably want to see today. So this is going to have to do with, finally, something graphical. Like, actually, graphical, not just messing around on the console, but something graphical. Very simple graphical stuff. And I'll go through it with you. Alright, so, you know, you remember your favorite little screen here. Uh, trying to do this through my camera so give me some time. <laughs> Oops. Uh, there it is. Okay, that's the program. G stuff, short for graphical stuff, of course. So it's on screen. You can see I'm recording with my phone. How classy am I? Ready to run it. Behold a square of some sort of color. But wait, but wait, that's not all. I can touch the touch screen here. There's a circle now. What is this witchcraft you might be asking? Well, I will show you. Just that, that ends. Okay. So here we can see my little source code. It's not a very big program at all. Here you are. Now, this is the first program I've made since the visible tutorial thing that actually uses the visible command. I'll go through everything with you. This obviously is just a label to loop the program. And here is visible. Now, if you don't know, there are six different screens within your well, six. The computer recognizes six different screens. What this configuration means is that the only screen that's going to be visible is going to be the graphical screen. So these are the other five, and then this is the graphical screen. So if you type in the visible like this, it means uh, the graphical screen will be set to visible. And since uh, the commands we're going to be using deal with the graphical screen, that's kind of useful. You have a little wait thing, and then you use gfill. Gfill, that new fun command that does graphical stuff. What gfill does is it takes two coordinate points on the graphics screen, and then it'll make a rectangle based off, you know, it'll make a rectangle based off of the, the um, a line created between those two points. So you can see here, this is the, the parameters are, the x start coordinate, the y start coordinate, the x n coordinate, and the y n coordinate. So this means that I have a corner. One corner is at coordinates 10, 10. The other is at coordinates 100, 100, and makes a rectangle based off of those two corners. Obviously, this is a square, but you know, squares are rectangles. And then this right here, this is not mandatory, but it's kind of useful. That's just the color. I just chose 25 because it's a random number. Uh, and here's our little if thing, which this, ba this basically says if I'm not touching the screen, just keep looping the square, and when I touch the screen, go on. In ACLS, ACLS means that it's going to reset all the graphical settings to the default, so that way um, you have a fresh thing to start from. I'll show you what happens if you don't do that at the end of the video, I guess. And again, I just looped this since I did ACLS, I had to do that again. Not very efficient, I know. Circle, wait, G circle. This is only... Um, two of the graphics commands, by the way. You can look for more of them in the little help thing, or, or if you guys somehow can't find them or want help with them, just let me know in the comments. It would, it would be kind of miraculous if I could get comments, considering I've been dead for quite some time. Anyway, so coordinates are, this is the center. These two coordinates are the X and Y coordinates of the center of the circle. This one here is the radius, and this one here is the color. I just made them all 90, because why not? So therefore, I have a circle with the center at 90, 90, a radius of 90, and a color of 90. 90. I should have made it all six. Anyway, and yeah, this is my little thing that says, um, if I'm not touching the screen, go back to circle. If I do, stop, clear the program, and end. Simple enough. So, you know, if you want to see that run again, here you are. Uh, run. Square. It's a rectangle square. Same thing. Not really. 
Squares are rectangles. Geometry. And you're... Oh. I must have hit the screen too fast. There you go, and then there's your circle. Fun, fun, I know. Uh, just, just to show you. This is what will happen if you do not clear your screen. You'll be left with a bunch of garbage on it, essentially. See? Like that. If you're wondering why the circle only showed up first, that's because I held my pen on the screen to skip the square. Anyway, here's your graphic thing. I have a nice little circle here. You can play with it as you wish. If uh, I do still have people interested in these tutorials, please drop some comments. I'll probably make them anyway because I'm getting bored. I'll probably also upload some random gaming stuff to my channel because I like to play games. Anyway, that's about it. I'll probably do these weekly, if not more often, or less often. Around the month of July, I don't expect a whole lot since I'm going to be moving down the eastern seaboard of the United States. And that's that for this video. Have fun playing with what you've learned, because I've finally done something graphical with this thing. And may it serve you well. Yeah, that's about it. Goodbye.